r slash ask reddit what is the most outdated technology that is still widely used today fax machines can't get over how many companies we deal with that require things to be sent via fax as someone who doesn't have a fax machine there are free programs that allow you to send emails with attachments to fax machines hopefully those still requiring faxes will catch up with current technology eventually and just switch over to encrypted emails if security is a concern my company uses email for this as well i can both send and receive faxes without ever using a fax machine phone books such a waste of paper it may be hard to believe but some people don't have the luxury of internet it is a waste of paper maybe if needed one could order one instead Slow down there you trailblazer, I for one like the look of a yellowed, stained phone book on my driveway 4 months after it's been delivered. The cigarette lighter outlets in cars, I don't believe replacing them with a wall style outlet and a USB port is too far of a stretch. My Mazda did away with them, it's just a 12 volt socket now, not a cigarette lighter, did not come with Theca, just a cover, and I have two of them. Lots of new cars come with a USB but I don't think you can use a standard electrical socket due to the voltage. Some items probably wouldn't work due to the lack of power or they'd drain your battery. At least the cigarette lighter 12 volt is a fairly universal adapter. Cigarette car lighters are this generation's crank windows. To be honest, I don't use the home phone anymore. Anytime I need to get in contact with someone, there's texting. Facebook, email, etc. And if I really need to talk to them, I think my cell phone has a calling app or something installed somewhere. It was convenient during hurricane season and cell phone towers were out. My parents still pay for AOL if that counts. I thought my dad was the only one keeping AOL afloat. The imperial system of measurement, that is, feet, inches, pounds, miles, Fahrenheit etc. So you're telling me you know your height in centimeters, and your weight in kg? This is some freaky alien shit man. I know my mass in kg. Weight is measure in newtons, though. IBM is 400. To think that many companies are still using a green screen from 1980 is beyond me. I work in a retail environment where they use this program for ordering signs and labels and other paper display material for the floor. But up until 4 years ago, as 400 was their main stock ordering system. And don't get me started on trying to train my 17 stroke 18 year old employees on how to use it. Now hit tab. No, you can't just hit backspace, be careful how far forward you go, or, at my last job we had something similar, text terminal forms stuff, all of the upper management types loved it because everything is just where you want it and it's so simple, we deliberately created some windows based front ends to complete all of those users most common tasks, so they didn't look at the terminal software for nearly a year. In the meantime we continued our normal business of adding new features to the terminal software, tweaking it, making incremental improvements, etc. Fast forward to the end of that year and management basically could no longer use the terminal software because we changed it enough, and they'd forgotten enough, that it was a totally alien environment to them. At that point the idea of moving towards a mouse driven GUI with distinctive screens and a memorable workflow suddenly started to appeal to them. Depends on the definition of widely used but the government still uses floppy disks a lot. I'm currently using one as a coaster. I've always wanted to tile a bathroom with them. I know it would be extremely impractical, but it would look really cool. Lay them and coat them in an epoxy. I like that idea. People do it with pennies. Drive through speaker systems. There is absolutely no excuse for such low quality microphones and speakers that you can't understand your native language. It's more that they are not maintained at all. They actually work very well when they are first installed, but they go down in quality. That, and the fact that the employees are in a noisy environment. We had a new fast food restaurant in the area recently, the first couple weeks. It was incredible. It was like using a phone HD voice. I've never seen something degrade so fast, though, over the course of a couple days, the employees went from understandable to fuzz. It's sad.
Telegraph. It just shut down here in India today. The annual revenue from the service was $200,000 and it cost the government around $20 million to run annually. India had telegraph service up until today, Morse code style. Checks, we'll have to wait for the older generation to die off. I work in the audiovisual. I still have the occasional client request the Kodak slide carousel for their presentations. I used to work in an art gallery. Slides were pretty common amongst higher end photographers for juries because they could project with greater dynamic range and resolution than common LCD projectors found in smaller galleries and they could be sure that color rendition would be consistent when seen by the selecting juries. Not to say that LCD projectors don't have their place, but good ones are expensive and need to be properly calibrated. Whereas slide projectors are cheap and pretty consistent color wise and most of the calibration can be done when preparing the image slide rather than trusting the gallery's co-op student to get it right. Well not to mention that they were shooting on film anyway, you'd have to scan the film, which presents its own problems if you don't have an extremely high end negative scanner. Coal power we're way too overdue to replace it with cleaner power. Traffic lights, it's 2013 and I still wait at empty intersections. Using infants to carry notes home from kindergarten. Typewriter. Serious. The company I work for has documents that are very secretive proprietary that can't touch any form of digital technology. The Russian secret service recently bought a lot of them. They can't be hacked. Not with that attitude. Toilet attachment bolts. To allow wobble. 3 would fix that issue. And while we're at it, could someone please invent a toilet that doesn't have so many nooks and crannies to collect dirt and scum? I can't imagine that toilet designers have ever had to clean a toilet. Seriously, just adding a plastic facade would fix a solid 90% of these issues. But instead we apparently need to see the pipes outlined in porcelain. It, old technologies, not outdated. Banks. Why are you closed after 5 p.m. and on weekends? Because they don't care about us plebes with a few bucks in some shitty savings account. A bank's main business is with other businesses who typically can send someone over during business hours to make deposits or take out new loans. The Ellis Island button hook the dentist uses to scrape your teeth. IPv4. It's finished in terms of capacity really but it still underpins much of the internet. The transition is going to be a nightmare. It makes me sad thinking about all the games that won't work once we go IPv6. The textbook heavy, expensive and can't be updated. A science textbook should be updated annually. My son's middle school science textbook said that GPS was rare but becoming more common. Schools would save money using electronic readers rather than printing books out every 10 years. The ways computers and printers communicate with each other. Forgot to tell it that was just pages 1-3, not the entire 250 page document. Oh well, I didn't like trees anyway. I work at a bank and we all still use dot matrix printers. There are almost 25 locations, and honestly, I kind of like them. They never give a headache, they're the only printers that aren't from the wretched anus of satan. Newspapers. Newspapers are definitely on their last leg, probably won't be around in 20 or so years. They are having trouble staying profitable. The stories they print are outdated, and in some areas the writing is of laughable quality. And in most areas, read, not big cities, local coverage would be non-existent without them. The death of newspapers is probably inevitable, and it will be a real boon to corrupt local government. In my little town we still have several full-time reporters covering court's government. Ad revenue for someone's website isn't going to duplicate that coverage anytime soon. I eagerly await reports of bloggers occasionally breaking big stories well-funded big city news sites. Whoa, you made it to the end? You're a ducking beast. I'll cut you a deal. Smash like and subscribe for more curated content bruh. It's free and that's a great price.